good morning dear students today we are going to discuss about a new chapter coastal plains and islands it is the ninth chapter of your textbook do you know what is a coast the area where land meets the sea or ocean is called a coast india has a vast coastline of about 7517 kilometers The coastline of India is divided into eastern coastal plains and western coastal plains. So first we are going to discuss about the eastern coastal plains. It is a wide stretch of landmarks lying between Eastern Ghats and Bay of Bengal. It stretches from West Bengal to Tamil Nadu. The width of eastern coastal plains varies between 100 to 200 kilometers. Mahanadi, Godavari, Kaveri and Krishna are the rivers flowing through this plain. Eastern coastal plains is very fertile, irrigated and heavily populated. Eastern coastal plain is also known as a northern circus between Mahanadi and Krishna rivers and Coromandel coast between Krishna and Kaveri rivers. mangrove forests backwaters and lagoons are also found along the deltas of eastern coastal plains the important cities of this coastal plains are visakhapatnam chennai bhuvaneswar and katak so next we are going to discuss about the western coastal plains it is the narrow strip of land lying between western ghats and arabian sea it extends from gujarat to kerala it ranges from 5200 km in width western coastal plain is divided into three parts gujarat coast kongan coast and malabar coast the important cities of this coastal plains are mumbai Ernakulam, Tiruvannathapuram, Udupi and Vasco da Gama. Next, we are going to discuss about Andaman Nicobar Islands. These islands are located in Bay of Bengal. They are a group of 572 islands, islets and rocks. The capital of Andaman Nicobar is Port Blair. The important cities of these islands are havelock island ross island viper island little andaman etc indira point is the southern most point of india the highest point here is the sandal peak which is 730 meters above the sea level next we are going to discuss about lakshadweep islands these islands lie in arabian sea It comprises of 36 islands, islets and atolls. Lakshadweep is the smallest union territory of India. Kavarathi is the capital of Lakshadweep Islands. The major four islands of Lakshadweep are Kavarathi, Kalpeni, Minikoi and Bengaram. This is all about coastal plains and its islands. Please go through the textbook and study well. Thank you. The coastal plains. India is blessed with a very long coastline. It begins from the Gulf of Kutch and ends at West Bengal. Starting from the Gulf of Kutch in the western coastal plain. It moves southwards along the borders of Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka and Kerala and touches Kanyakumari, the southernmost tip of the Indian mainland. This part of the coastline is along the Arabian Sea. Between the western ghats and the coast, the land is plain and is known as the western coastal plain. From Kanyakumari the coast moves northwards and reaches up to West Bengal. This part of the coastline 
is along the Bay of Bengal. Between the eastern ghats and the coast, the land is plain and is known as the Eastern Coastal Plain. The total length of the coastline is 6,100 kilometers. Such a long coastline is very useful for our country. Fishing is an important occupation of the people living on the coasts. Many seaports have been developed along the coast. The Western Coastal Plain The Western Coastal Plain starts from Gujarat and ends at Kanyakumari. It lies between the Western Ghats and the Arabian Sea. It can be divided into three parts. Gujarat Coast, Konkan Coast and Malabar Coast. The Gujarat Coast lies in the northern part. It lies between the Gulf of Kutch and Gulf of Khambat. The Konkan Coast lies in the middle part and the Malabar Coast lies in the southern part of the Western Coastal Plain. The middle part of the Western Coastal Plain, that is Konkan Coast, starts from Gulf of Khambat and stretches up to Goa. It is very rocky and uneven. To warm the ships and fishing boats, many lighthouses have been built along the coast. Mumbai, India's biggest port, is located on the Konkan coast. The Konkan coast is rich in oil deposits. The southern part of the western coastal plain is called the Malabar coast. It lies between Goa and Kanyakumari. Small and shallow salt water lakes are the beauty of this area. We call them lagoons or backwaters. These lagoons are connected to each other by canals. Kochi is the most important seaport of the Malabar coast. The Eastern Coastal Plain The Eastern Coastal Plain begins from West Bengal in the north and stretches up to Kanyakumari. It passes through the coastal areas of Odisha, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. It lies between the Eastern Ghats and the Bay of Bengal. The Eastern Coastal Plain is wider than the Western Coastal Plain. Have you heard about the Coromandel Coast and Northern Sarkars? The northern part of the eastern coastal plain is called the Northern Sarkars and the southern part is called the Coromandel Coast. Rivers like Kaveri, Krishna, Godavari and Mahanadi form their deltas along the eastern coastal plain. These deltas are very fertile and are called the rice bowls of India. Kolkata, Chennai, Paradweep and Vishakhapatnam are the important seaports on the eastern coastal plain.